All right, well, uh, here it is, November 1st, 2021, Monday, and the day after Halloween. And uh, I hope you all had a, a wonderful Halloween weekend, safe, fun, or whatever you do on Halloween. Um, I just wanted to do a quick update since it's been a while since I've uh, chatted, probably about a month or so, um, just to give you an idea of where I am on this journey that I will be the first to tell you it's as surreal as it gets. Surreal. <sighs> um, it's just, you know, I know the, the whole planet, the, the world just feels like upside down. Um, doesn't it? I mean, it just, it's, it, I think everybody, I think we can all, agree that things just feel like what um hard to put a finger on it how to uh, it feels very elusive it feels like and i guess i'm speaking for myself but maybe you can relate um, that things just aren't what they seem what they have appeared to be in the past they don't appear that way anymore and hard to know what to believe Oh, and I know not only are we feeling this in general in our world right now, but for me personally, I can tell you that this journey healing from cancer is just as surreal as it gets because I'm now in a place of things don't make sense, they don't add up. And which, like I say, on a bigger scale, is kind of like, I see it as, you know, those little snow globes from back in the past. I don't know if I'm dating myself, but those little snow globes where there would be like a little scene and snow and then you'd shake it up and then the snow would fall. I feel like the snow globe, the global snow globe and for me personally, my little snow globe is just being shaken. And here's the great thing about that and you know me, I'm always about silver linings and I'm always about um, believing that as challenging and funky and weird and uncomfortable and ugh as things are, the one thing I always have faith in is that it is for our highest good as a collective consciousness, but also for me personally. And it's like, oh, I just want to be out of this. I just want to, I just want to be back into a place that feels grounded and safe and whatever, where I'm not like constantly feeling like I'm being challenged. And, but here's what I know from past experience in my life is that I know it sounds cliche, but we really accelerated growth, accelerated evolution, evolvement comes from when we're really shaken and our, and we're forced to kind of dislodge from our stuck place that we've been anchored in for so long that only provides us this perspective. And you know, that perspective gets us so far, but then I believe our soul in life says, but yeah, but when you're seeing this perspective, you're not seeing what's around you and opportunities and opportunities of expansion and expanding who we are if we're just stuck in our way. And sometimes, I mean, human beings, um, I think we're the only species on this planet, maybe in the universe, that just loves to cling, 
cling to what we know. Because, I don't know, it's just, at least we know it. <laughs> but then we're kind of like, yeah, but, you know, that's kind of mm, ho-hum there, you know, when we just are in this comfort zone all the time. And sometimes we need to really be dislodged, and I'm speaking for myself because I'm in one of those places in the biggest way of... Um, I've had to be shaken for the last two years I've been pretty shaken and I'm still being shaken and and this this journey of being shaken has just evolved the emotional roller coaster has just and it's just amazing the the things the stages the layers of uncovering and, and revealing of stuff that has been lodged in me, in my psyche, in my body, emotionally, all of that. This, the gift of cancer, and, and again, these are just my cells. You know, we like to think if we demonize cancer um, as though like there's some demon in us. Oh, that creates a very scary separating consciousness that only creates more fear and fear that's I I refuse even though yes I I have been in fear to the nth degree up to my eyeballs and beyond and I think what this journey continues to teach me is look at the only peace that you can find in this vast universe is in your own soul and when you're centered in your heart and that you know that you are a part of the whole and everything is divine and I am divine, my cells are divine, even those ones that seem to be acting out. And I know fear wants to just kill them. And that's kind of how Western medicine, you know, they like to kill, they like to attack. And I'm grateful. I, I uh, last year I had to, I was humbled to the core and I had to accept chemo. And I had to bless it because I had to focus on the intention of those scientists that created went into research, their intention was to help, not to harm. And even though, you know, chemo is, oy, I knew that if I focused on the oy part, that was, that was energetically not going to be healing to my body. I had to harmonize with it. I had to come to peace. I had to accept and, and accept and receive the help and the vibration of the scientists who were going into this field to help. So through my mind's focus, I chose to bless it and chose to visualize and see that helping my, my being help me while, while I needed some help kind of keep those little cells under control but I had an epiphany two months ago and uh, and what I got was this is what I kept hearing this is all in your hands Lisa this is all in your hands this isn't about having to control cancer cells with medications or this or that. No, if, I mean, sometimes we need that, yes. But what I'm evolving to is, this is about me stepping into the knowingness that I'm well, that I'm whole. And there was this peace that came from that knowingness, that, that epiphany. 
that I've been carrying with me this whole time in the last couple of months. And I've really needed it. I've really, really needed it because, and this is coming back to what I started with, that right now nothing seems to be what it is. And so it's confusing because it's like, well, wait a minute. It seems like it should be this, but but this reality is also existing. And so what's, what's, what do I believe? What, what's, what's true? And what I hear is, again, where do you put your focus? What do you want? We are powerful. We are powerful beings. We are co-creators with the consciousness that is the divine God, whatever you want to call it. So what I feel like we are at an opportunity on this planet right now where we are really getting to own, own what we believe. And if we believe in fear, I mean, this can be with the virus, this can be with the vaccination. Like if you believe the vaccination is horrible, it's going to be horrible. If you believe that the vaccination, vaccination is going to help you, it's going to help you. Now that may not, I don't know. My point is that it doesn't matter what we are focusing on, what we are, you know, thinking that we're right. We all think that we're right. How can somebody else think that way? This is what this is about on this planet right now. It's like, what do you, what are you, what do I believe? What do, because we are all creating our reality. No matter what we are choosing, if we're choosing to be fearful of a virus, if we're choosing to be fearful of a vaccination, if I'm choosing to be fearful of chemo, if I'm choosing to be fearful of my cancer, what are we going to create? So it's really about life is giving us the universe. Spirit is giving us a huge, mind-blowing, literally mind-blowing opportunity to ask ourselves, what do I believe? What do I choose to believe? What do I want to believe? Do I want to believe in fear? Do I want to believe that there's some big boogeyman out there that's, you know, trying to control me? Well, then that's exactly what you're going to experience. Welcome. Do you want to believe that I'm going to be okay as long as I stay present in my being? Then there you go. It's, it's a profound time. So I say this because I personally am going through major shaking of the globe, slow, snow globe. So I feel great. I feel strong. I feel healthy. When people see me, they're like, oh my gosh, you look so strong. You look so healthy. You look so vibrant. And yet, my cancer marker number is the highest it's ever been in two years. What? I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't want to give it that much power. Again, where do we put our energy? My energy medicine practitioner, Camille, says, how about it doesn't have to be either or? It can be, yep. Yeah, my cancer numbers here and I'm still living a healthy amazing life she's like all realities in this in this world in this universe of infinite potentiality and possibilities it's all it's it's my creation what do I want it to be easier said than done <laughs> but I'm practicing and this is giving me the opportunity to practice. I had a, um, two doctor's appointments, one with my Western oncologist, oncologist at St. John's, Dr. Fisher, who I love and adore. He is a gem, but he's a little perplexed and I see it 
You know, I saw it in his face and his body language. He was like, I don't know. My naturopathic oncologist, Dr. Heidi, she's like, I don't know. What I do know is that the medications that I wore on Avastin and Limparza as of July was causing, my body was definitely, definitely not liking it because I've been waking up with, oh, incredible pain and stiffness in my joints and my hands and my wrist and my right foot. So that, I've been praying, I've been praying for a sign because I've been feeling, I've been feeling in the last couple of months that I'm leaning into, especially since that epiphany that I had, that this is in my hands. And in that vision that I had, I was sitting on the beach and I'm sitting on the sand and the sand was the place of being in fear and God, I just, I want to get beyond this. And here was the ocean and the ocean represented, I'm well, I'm well. It's right there. I could taste it. I could smell it. I could feel it. And I was frustrated. I was like, why can't I just get in the ocean? And why am I still clinging to the shore and fear? And, and I realized I'm stuck. I was stuck. I've been stuck on that edge. What do I believe? What do I believe? Do I believe I'm well and whole? Or do I believe I'm powerless and I need to rely on outside sources to control this, whatever this is, when my body is just saying, my soul is saying, we just need you to own your power. That you know is there. The divine intelligence lies within all of ourselves. It knows what to do to heal. Can I truly step into that that faith? Like really surrender get to God the divine. Surrender to my higher self. You feel me? So this is my this is my challenge. This is my gift. So I'm just living my life, feeling well, with a number that's high. I don't know. I have a CT scan on November 9th. And this is what's so confusing too. It's like there's the physical realm and then there's the spiritual realm. And the vibrations are totally different. What do I believe? Where do I go? Ay, 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 ay. So in the midst of me getting those blood results this weekend, uh, this week and like the number being higher than it ever has been, and the same week, I get an invitation. And this is life. This is what life is. It's like we're going to throw it all. It's a mixed bag of everything. I, was, I got an invitation from Taj Jackson, who is Michael Jackson's nephew, who I met briefly two, two years ago. Um... I was able to give him my book and uh, and he knows that my mom and I have supported him and his family and Michael through all, through everything and uh, he's very appreciative and, but it's not that I keep in contact with him at all and he reached out to me this week and he invited me and a guest to his um, charity event, his Halloween, annual Halloween party that um, supports the foundation he created for his mother who died in the 90s, uh, the D.D. Jackson Foundation, which um, supports people who have had profound loss and helps people through community and music therapy. Beautiful cause. Look it up. The D.D. Jackson Foundation. So he invited me and a guest to the Jackson family home in Encino, which I know well only been by the gate many times costume party costume for a cause and so on Saturday night my me and my friend Aaron my college friend Aaron who was a total kick in the pants by the way we dressed up as Peter Pan me 
そうだね。Is my hat on right? I don't know. Is it that one? <laughs> Or is it supposed to be the other way? I don't know. Anyway, my point is Aaron went as、uh, Captain Hook, and I went as Peter Pan, and we frickin' went to the Jacksons for the best Halloween party ever. Ever. And we danced our h i n e y s off for almost four hours with everybody dressed in costume. And to Michael's Thriller, to Michael, all of Michael's music, Janet's music, the Jackson's music, on the dance floor at the Jackson home with zombies and cemeteries. And a thriller maze. Oh my God, it was amazing. Amazing. As epic as epic gets. Epic. I mean, it's not that you're just at a Halloween party and they're playing thriller because that's what they would do. No. We were dancing to thriller on, at a Halloween party. At the place where it was created, where it was brought onto this planet. You want to talk about a vibe? Holy moly. Now, some of you watching this may not know that I've had a spiritual connection to Michael's ever since I was like, in、um, probably 12, 13 years old, back in the 80s when he came out of the scene. I've always been an intuitive, I didn't realize it back then. But I, back then, I was already feeling his soul. And long story, I wrote a book about it. Michael Jackson, The Man in Our Mirror, Reflection of Our Collective Soul. What, how I have, the, the magical, the magical synchronicities that, long story short, that ended up, our family moved out here. My mom ended up moving.、Uh, Working at Neverland as one of his housekeepers in the 90s. I mean, some of you know this story, some of you don't. Like, unheard of stuff, magic. Anyway, so this is kind of a continuation of Michael's magic in my life. And I kept hearing him saying, It's been a rough couple years for you. You know those numbers? Whatever. Let's go. Let's go heal with some serious dancing and fun. Ugh!、Oh! You hear the door slam. Wonder if you'll ever see the sun. You close your eyes and hope that this is just imagination. Yeah. But all the while, you see a creature creeping up behind. You're out of time. You know how it goes. I'm not going to try and sing, Michael, but I wore this on the back of my shirt. My Peter Pan outfit. Have you seen my childhood? Have you seen my childhood? I'm searching for the wonder of my youth. I haven't practiced. Anyway, it was Michael, thank you. So life is a frickin' mixed bag. Bottom line, we're all being shaken up. What do we believe? It's uncomfortable as all get out. Ugh. But it's for a, a huge gift. It is. We just got to have faith and believe in it and believe in each other. Because when we heal our hearts, we heal the world. Right, horse? Right. Horse, horse always says, that's exactly what she says. <laughs> By the way, my book, book one of four, The Ride of Our Life. What is it? Love, Faith, and Wisdom, or Faith, Love, and Wisdom from a Magical Horse, book one, the early years, is coming out before Christmas. It's at the formatter, and that means they're putting it into book form. 
I'm working on the website and uh, we got the cover and pre-order is gonna be hopefully a little bit before Thanksgiving and oh my gosh long time coming started writing this book back in the 90s right horse and uh, so yeah that's exciting so cancer numbers high oh well <laughs> a lot of good things we choose our joy choose our joy that's my message for you choose our joy in every single moment what do we believe what do we want to believe where do we want to put our power where do we want to put our energy do we want to put it in fear of somebody's trying to get us somebody's trying to get after us or do we want to say i am me i am strong i am in alignment with my heart and soul i am a child of the universe of god as are all of us we are one all right sorry for the long message but i'm a gemini there's plenty more words where this came from <laughs> i'll end it now okay love you all have a great day hello okay bye